Well, doctors say the benefits far outweigh the risks, but as the vaccine rollout now ramps up through the booster phase, there are a rare few who suffer serious side effects. Now the federal government is offering compensation for anyone who becomes seriously ill after having their COVID shot. It's been a long road to recovery for Maddie John. It's a really uncomfortable and um, quite a frightening experience. He felt like he was having a heart attack two days after getting the Pfizer vaccine. I just got this sharp pain that I've never experienced before in the centre of my chest. Diagnosed with severe pericarditis, he was off work for 10 weeks. You constantly worry, I suppose, that anxiety around, I suppose, we're talking about your heart. Maddie's not alone. It's estimated 79,000 people have suffered adverse reactions to vaccines. Now the government's offering compensation. Claims under $20,000 will need evidence from your doctor. Claims over $20,000 assessed by a team of legal experts. The highest figure reserved for only the most serious of cases. I think it could cost the government a lot of money. Daniel Opare works at Shine Lawyers. He's looked closely at the government scheme. If you do suffer pericarditis, it, it can uh, result in you being out of pocket. Um, you know, you might have to see a cardiologist, you might need procedures. Um, so it is definitely appropriate that there is a vaccination scheme there to compensate those people. But like all schemes, there are limitations. To make a claim, you must spend at least one night in hospital. And that's a clause that makes Maddie John ineligible. He was admitted to hospital twice, but never stayed the night. It is a little bit frustrating um, and out of pocket a fair bit, but in saying that too, um, it is what it is and um, that's life. The scheme is now open. Nick Hose, 7 News.